Hey everyone, this is Coloring Chemist. My name is Connie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I did a thing. Actually the last mm, three weeks I did a number of things but we'll talk about that in a later video. But I put an order in to Aladdin which is the South Korean book company that uh, we all first learned about I think from Shelly from Shell's Coloring Journey and she posted some wonderful videos which I will link down below where she um I think she showed her first purchase from there and then she also did some sort of tutorial videos because using the website is a little it's not complicated but it's just a little tricky to do it properly uh even after you you use you know sort of google translate to translate the website there's you have to sort of do things a certain way in order to get them to ship to um, Canada or the US. But I followed her directions. It was lovely. And I, I can't quite believe this. I think I placed the order on, uh, you know what? Hang on one sec. I'm going to check. All right. I checked April 2nd. Today is April 9th. And I believe this was actually, so, so yeah, Tuesday, April 9th. And I think I placed it Tuesday, April 2nd. I think it was actually delivered on possibly Saturday. <laughs> I just didn't get a chance to pick it up until today. I, I mean, that flabbergasts me all the way from South Korea. Now I did have it shipped to the U S because, um, I have a, a, a system here where I can get things shipped to the U S and, and what have you. Um, so maybe to Canada, it might have been a little bit longer, but still crazy, crazy fast and crazy inexpensive. I got five books and I paid with shipping. I think it was about a hundred dollars Canadian, which I know you guys, you'd listen to Canadian prices. And those of you in the U S probably are gasping. I think it was like 60. No, it was 70 something US, <laughs> but it was about a hundred dollars Canadian for five Korean coloring books. Um, so I just thought I, I brought this home and I was so excited. So I opened it. I just opened up the flaps here cause my information's on there, but, and I thought I would open it with you guys and maybe we can do a flip through of some of the books too. So this is how it comes packaged in a box and the box is, it says books, cats, life is good. Now I love cats. I'm horribly allergic to cats and I used to own cats for years and years and years and I had to just basically live on allergy meds so I can no longer have cats but I still love them so I thought that was pretty cute books cats life is good uh it comes so it's got this layer of, of bubble wrap here and it's got much more bubble wrap and then it's got the books and so we will take these books out and then let's, uh, did I get them all? Yep. And then we'll take a look at the books. So the box was in perfect condition. Sorry if it's a little loud. Get the box out of the way. Put the books off to the side. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the box was in perfect condition. The books are in perfect condition. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any little dings on the corners. Nothing, nothing. I mean, that's, that's amazing. So let's take a look at this one first. Now this is the April book, Four Seasons. I'm just going to get a little craft knife here, maybe a pair of scissors. This one is shrink wrapped as well as being, um, so well packaged. Don't want to, I don't want to scratch the book. Just need to get under there. There we go. But, uh, the other ones are not. So this one was shrink wrapped. The others are not. That is okay. So if I didn't already say it, I may say it a number of times. Thank you so much, Shelly, for introduce, introducing us to this resource, um, to this company to, to purchase books from. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I purchased most of my Korean books from uh, Etsy 
And I love supporting the small businesses on Etsy. I, I do. But I just thought I would give this a try. And yeah, price-wise, my goodness. And speed-wise, you just can't beat it. Now, I don't know if you guys want a full flip through of this or not. You've probably all seen it. So this is uh, April's Coloring Book of the Four Seasons. It has this little um, sleeve on the front here. Slide that off. Now, I, I just opened this, so I haven't translated anything. But, yeah, it's in, it's in beautiful shape. And then, of course, we have... This is my this is my first look at this. I've seen flip throughs, but I, I haven't looked at it myself. Oh my goodness. Look at that end paper. That's beautiful. Sorry, I'm I'm just <laughs> not very talkative, am I? Um, I'm just kind of in awe. Now, here is how you guys are going to get to see how I break in books. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but I find if I start trying to push down pages at the beginning, the book kind of gets mm, like slanty on the spine. I don't know if that makes sense. So I try and find the center of the book. Now, sometimes this <laughs> backfires on me and the book just cracks. And then I push down in the very center first. Oh my goodness, this is a tough one. I will sometimes, and I know this is going to, hopefully, I'll even do this. Just to really break the spine. There. Now, now the spine is broken. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see what I did to the center there. You see? A little damaged. But you know what? It's going to lay flat now. And then I will sometimes go about halfway in the, the front half, and I'll kind of do the same thing. Let's see if I can open it right up. And then I'll try and do halfway in the back half. Now, if you don't want the spine of your book, because um, you'll, you'll see what I did to the spine, right? I actually cracked it. If you don't want that to happen, do not do what I'm doing. <laughs> it's... <laughs> There's maybe better ways to do this, but I find that this just really, and the more I color in here and, and use it, the more open it's going to be. But, um, and then of course the cover is almost always glued to the first page. So I usually go to the title page and kind of open it up there too. Now what I will sometimes do, then flip to the back, I'm going to do the same thing. Just get that right folded back so I don't get a, a fold. And then I will sometimes go page by page. <laughs> now, I'm not going to do that here. Well, that's stickers. That's sticker paper. Huh. I did not know that. I mean, I, I did watch some flip throughs, but I guess I missed that part. Yeah, I will sometimes go front back, front back, front back like this and just keep and that way everything gets bent or opened out evenly um, yeah just in case anyone was wondering now I have seen people do this with books sorry the lights not great here is it thought I could do this with just natural light a little bit better. There. A little shadow, maybe. Um, people talk about um, sort of carefully breaking the spine, not necessarily on coloring books, but just book books. And they will actually go front back, front back like this. Some beautiful thick card pictures in the back here. Yeah. I'm assuming, I haven't done the translation here, but I'm assuming it probably goes spring, summer, fall, winter, if I had to guess. I'm 
cross look like? Or maybe it goes... Could go summer. No, it looks like spring, summer, fall, winter. Yeah. I do love April's uh, illustrations. They're very sweet. I love the fact that you can copy. Honestly, I have not colored any. I think I have one other April book and I have not colored in it because it's like yeah, some of the other Korean books I have, I love them, but they intimidate me. I'm, I guess I'm so afraid of, I don't know, messing them up. They give me joy to look at though. So that's important. She's got, um, what are those flowers called? Campanula, I think. That would be an amazing one to just practice uh, bubbles. Do a lovely moody watercolor background on that one. And she's a teeny little stripy fox in her lap. A lot of the backgrounds um, would be lovely watercolor backgrounds, wouldn't they? That's the end paper, isn't it? But darker? Maybe? No, maybe not. No, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So the wallpaper in the background there is the, the same as the, the end papers in the book, just darker. That would be good to practice. Um, balloons like making things look round it's a lot pretty color palette too and the bathtub and the teeny it's not a fox i guess it's a squirrel isn't it or a chipmunk maybe sorry is sitting on a rubber duck Lovely, lovely. Summertime things. The beach. We have beaches around where I live. They do not have palm trees on them. <laughs> I am in central Canada, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> no palm trees here. Pine trees, no palm trees. Yeah, it's a little chipmunk, I think. Sorry, not a little fox. That's nice. I wonder if pit pens would work on this page, or on this paper. It feels fairly smooth. Is that a clownfish? I think that's a clownfish, isn't it? The pattern on the dress isn't drawn here, so you wouldn't necessarily have to make the dress. If you can see that, it's got like a diamond pattern on it. Um, you could do what you like there. I guess that's true with her clothes. Like there's a pattern there on the dress, but not here. It's probably true for maybe most of her clothes. Yeah, same thing. Some pretty hair for those of you that like to uh, color hair and again very nice watercolory background be good with maybe some granulating watercolor paints maybe Maybe some tea breakfast maybe it looks like toast and eggs and things 
DVD. Summertime. Summertime is coming where I live. There's still actually some snow on the ground in front of my window. Not much, but some. And it's April 9th. That's pretty typical. I don't think the frost has gone into the ground yet because a lot of the water, we were getting a little bit of rain yesterday and today, but it's not really sort of sinking in. It's just kind of sitting on the surface, so. Autumn, fall. I, that's my favorite season. I just, the color palette, everything about fall, I love, love. That's gorgeous. Just the, wow, that's a gorgeous sky background. That almost turquoise combined with sort of the fall colors of the oak leaves. Love that. Love it. Cozied up reading. Cup of tea. Coffee. Tea. Hot cho chocolate. Just a little leaf mobile. That's pretty too. The hurricane lantern would be a good one to practice. Just sort of, you know, roundish. I mean, you've got glass and then also metal, but to make it look round. Gain. Wouldn't that sky be beautiful? Watercolor. For those of you that have maybe done watercolor in this book, um, let me know how this paper takes water. No. They have the keys right? Oh, they do. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Sometimes you'll see illustrations and wait, are the notes right? I mean, that doesn't serve a song, but. Um, the 16th notes there look a little odd. But other than that, the tails and all the 8th notes are facing the right way, so that's good. Good. Excellent job. <laughs> the cover image isn't it no that was the cover image on one of her other books was it not that it was coffee didn't karen zucchini kitty just color this i think she did amazing amazing job as always sweet. Again, lovely modeled watercolory looking background. That's a very fun color palette, isn't it? Kind of a, almost a turquoise blue and then pink. I used to love playing hide and seek in the curtains when I was little. I got in trouble because my mom thought I would pull on the curtains and, and rip them. And then winter. I do love winter. I love all the seasons. There's something about the color palette of fall that, that I love. And I also love, I mean, as funny as that sounds, the color palette of winter, I also love it. Just the blues and the, the purples and the white. I mean, the starkness of, of the branches looking, you know, black against a white backdrop. Gorgeous. Sorry, we're almost at 20 minutes. I better hurry up here, hadn't I? Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't necessarily flip through them all. But some of you guys do say that you like my long chatty videos. So maybe this will be a long chatty video. And, and those of you who like those kinds of videos will like it. There's a Christmas scene. Isn't that pretty? Nighttime. Gosh, that would be, that would, I mean, it would be a, a, a really great learning exercise to, to recreate that kind of glow in the dark, dark night sky, but, but then with the branches. Pretty. The Christmas one. Mm. 
She's in a sweater, so maybe she's dreaming of summer. <laughs> That's a pretty color palette. Those are either birch or white poplar. I'm assuming birch. Most people, when they draw trees like that, they, I think they're trying to draw birch trees. But where I live, they could also be white poplar. It's a fun page with little elements there. It says forest musicians. Oh, <laughs> a cat. <laughs> it's a little cross-eyed cat. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it entertains me. That's hilarious. And the bunny and the and the deer and the dog. The cat's just funny. Oh my goodness, there's more. That's very cute. It's very different. Well, sort of different from her usual style. Not super different, I guess. They're very cute little sort of individual pictures to color, though, aren't they? You wouldn't have to necessarily do, you know, it's like little smaller bite-sized images. And then she's got these really thick ones at the back here. I mean, you could, you could frame that. And then the page of stickers. That's very, very... Very nice. I love that. So that's April's Coloring Book of the Four Seasons. And then, you know what, I'll do this one next because I won't do a full flip through. I already have this book. <laughs> but I have it. Hang on one second here. I have it in hardcover. And I was curious to see how they compared. Because like I say, I mean, this was $20 Canadian and that's with shipping. So, you know, on average, I got five books for you know $100 Canadian that was shipping too. So yeah, I, I thought, well, if I get this, I can compare paper, I'll also have two copies. And maybe if I have two copies, I won't be so terrified to color in these books. So there was some, method there to my madness. So the hardcover one I bought from Etsy um, a while ago and the illustrator, it's the illustrator. I'm not sure if the series goes by the title Green Ivy. There's two books, um, but most of the illustrations have S he written underneath them. And I mean, just stunning, 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 stunning illustrations. I, you know what, it might be sacrilege and blasphemous to say, I actually prefer this illustrator to April. April is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but there's something about this illustrator's stuff I love. So this is my original hardback version. Um, it's stitch bound, has a, uh, a bookmark. Very, I mean, it's, it's, you can see it's actually thicker than the one I just bought by quite a bit. And just a hint, oh, sorry, just a hint taller and a hint wider. But yeah, probably close to double the thickness. So I was just curious to see if the paper was the same. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe we're missing some images? I don't know. So I'm just gonna random. Well, let's, let's find the same image. I feel like this paper in the new one that I got, the, the soft cover one, is smoother, feels smoother. And I think it's a little bit, if you can see that with the lighting I have, see the different color in the paper? I haven't cracked this one open yet, but so this is the new one that I just bought and this is the hardback one that I have. So this one is um, the, the, the paper, 
it, it looks like it's overprinted and it's got texture to it, almost like a really finely, closely woven like canvas or linen. Um, and this does too, but this has almost like a really pale oatmeal color to the paper. And then in certain places where the skin is, or if there's an item that, that needs to be white, it's, it's like that oatmeal kind of printing isn't there, right? Can you see on the, you know, the skin, the legs and the face and stuff? It's like they've done the same thing here, but the paper is much yellower. So instead of a oatmeal, it is more of sort of like a true linen color. You see that? And they've sort of not put that, that textured print where the, the skin tone should be, but it doesn't come up as white. It, it come, because of the paper itself, it comes up a bit more yellow. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully the lighting is showing that. But yeah, so that, that's my old copy, the new copy. As far as I know, um, just looking at what's in the back here, there's some little postcards in the back. I think there's the same images, but I think this paper is thicker. Like this paper, yeah, I mean, this paper is, it's almost like the whole book is printed on card. Whereas this paper is not bad. I don't know if you can hear the difference there. I can feel the difference. This is still good paper, but it's not as thick as this paper. Each page in here feels like it's cardstock. This, yeah. So that was just, I just wanted to see the difference. Beautiful, beautiful illustrator. And then Shelly was showing these, and I think this is maybe originally why she had, sorry, tilted to get rid of the glare there. Um, the, the illustrator that does these books wanted to send some to her maybe, or the, the publishing company, and they were gonna send them through Aladdin, and I think maybe that's how she discovered the, the company. So this one is, it's, it's something about fall. <laughs> fall, mm, I should have translated this, but I literally just opened the box. Yeah, something about fall and a cat's walking and fall. Something along that line, sorry. And then there was a spring one. And the, oh, there's a little tiny ding on the cover on that one. Tiny, tiny ding. And then there was a spring one. And then I saw a winter one. So I wanted to grab all three. Um, the paper in all of them it's nice. It's not as, as thick as the card that was in that hardcover book that I showed, but yeah, it, it feels like the same paper in all of them. So we've got, um, like I say, it's something along the lines of fall cats on a walk, fall walk, something. <laughs> My apologies. got little teeny thumbnails of each of the images um, with the original art and then you got you have um, the original art and then one to color so you can you know you can do your your copying if that's the kind of thing you like to do it's very sweet it's very cartoony um, I'm looking at, you know, in terms of, of shading in the original artwork, there technically isn't a whole lot. I mean, there's some shading on the mushroom there and a little bit of shading in the leaves and the, the flower petals fade out to, you know, almost white at the edges, but not a lot of shading. And sometimes that can be really fun. I'm, I'm sort of leaning that way with um, Lulu Mayo's books, right? It's just, sometimes it's nice not to worry about so much shading and just put some really fun color down. Oh, I feel like I should have done the middle thing on this book, but I didn't. That's okay. Now, based on where I live, this was the fall one, I think. I don't know. I mean, a lot of these images say summer to me. Maybe they move on and, and we'll come to more fall images. It's extremely cute animals in these images. Right, there were 
harvesting. Cotton candy. Uh, fall fairs are, are definitely a thing where I am. Indoors in a greenhouse. Selling some flowers. If you wanted to make that more fallish, instead of sort of a pinky red approach to the leaves there, you could, uh, maybe they're not leaves, they could be flowers. Um, just change that up to, yeah, more fallish colors. So look like, I'm not sure, nasturtiums maybe? Do you ever notice there's a smell to Korean books? <laughs> Is this just me? <laughs> Am I nuts? <laughs> I could be nuts. It's a good smell. It's a... I can't... It reminds me of something from my childhood, but I can't think of what. You ever have that feeling? It's like you smell something. Smell is a very powerful um, evoker of memory. And the smell of these books reminds me of something. But I can't... It's almost sweet. <sighs> I don't know. I notice it when I get Korean books from um, Etsy, and now I'm noticing it with these books too. I don't know if it's kind of the paper they print on or the glue used to to put the books together. I don't know what it is. I, of course, grew up, I was a child in the 80s, so maybe I'm remembering like Hello Kitty stuff was very big back then. I, I don't know, but it's something. There's a smell. Maybe I'm nuts. It could be nuts. Just very cute, cute images. Make me smile. And you know what, isn't that, I mean, our our, our beloved hobby is, is about, it's about coloring, but sometimes it's about, I'm, you know, I think Ryan from, oh, I was gonna say Ryan Colors, he's called, oh, I'm gonna get this chrom chromatically, coloring I'm sorry Ryan if I got that wrong um he had a video recently where he talked about sort of the mental health benefits of coloring and I, I mean you think you know for for lots of us that's definitely a thing and sometimes just flipping through oh see there's fall just flipping through books like this and looking at the the artwork and the and the illustrations um oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's the most adorable Halloween picture I've ever seen <laughs> Um, just makes you smile and, and sometimes that's, that's all you need. <laughs> Adorable. Little tea party. Oh, I should know what those flowers are and I can't think. Coreopsis? No. Mm. One of you will probably tell me in the comments. You should. I should know them. I can't think of what they're called. Some photos. Water lilies. With Japanese, or, or I mean, this is a Korean book, but um, the lanterns floating on the water. Cleome? Is that what those flowers are called? I think. camping and then there's the cover image kind of a that like pampas grass it's a pretty sky and that's it so there's the fall one and then we've got the spring one now forgive me that's very lime isn't it lime green i i, I should have done some translating <laughs> oh oh don't wreck the book, Connie. Should have done some translating ahead of time, but you know what? I'm going to go one more page in. But, like I say, I just got this in the mail and opened it up. There we go. So again, we've got thumbnails there of all the, the artwork. And then we can 
have our original art and we can copy if we want or you can do something completely different. Daffodils. Those aren't poppies, are they? They don't look like roses. Maybe they're roses. They could be a flower I'm not familiar with, too. Sorry, the translation probably says. <laughs> That's very cute. haven't had any bears in my bird feeders yet, just in case any of you were wondering. It's April 9th. We'll see. I'm going to put out some uh, oranges for the Orioles soon. Don't know. That could draw the bears. Bees with little ruffs around their necks. Which I guess bees kind of do have. That's just cute. That's pretty. Spring cherry blossoms with lanterns. Some much brighter cherry blossoms. And a goose, it looks like. Some gulls. Canada geese are back here. They've been flying over spring and fall in their migration. Some will stop and stay. A lot of them uh, tend to keep going and head further north for the summer. This stuffed dinosaur. <laughs> hey, that's cute. More cherry blossoms, some chickens. Picnic. Two. That's the title image or the, the cover image, I should say. Dandelions. those are marigolds maybe sorry I, I just keep looking at the flowers don't I my apologies those look like allium of some kind some lambs tiniest bit of grayscale shading on the the images too the the color the ones to color sparrows cats being you know helpful as cats do tulips looks like a chinchilla is that a chinchilla not the flowers the, the little animal sorry Monarch? You know, we used to have tons of monarch butterflies here. Um, and I don't see them very often anymore. It's sad. Those look like apple blossoms, I think. Maybe as opposed to cherry blossoms. Pretty little river scene. And then part three. You know, when I, <laughs> when I was watching others doing flip throughs of this book and they got to this page, the lamb here, it took me a while to realize that was supposed to be the lamb's, no like the end of the lamb's nose or the sheep's nose. Otherwise, it just looks like it's a really surprised sheep because I thought that was like the mouth, but it, I don't think it's supposed to be, but I don't know. Now I can't unsee that. Now you probably can't unsee that either. Sorry. <laughs> uh with some poppies there. Some irises. It's very pretty. Yeah, those those look more like apple blossoms to me. And I think apple blossoms 
blossom after the leaves are out, right? But cherry blossoms blossom before the leaves are out on the tree. Is that right? Could be wrong. These are bleeding hearts. Latin name Dicentra. Those look like, um, I want to say carnations, but they're also, they're not usually called carnations in your garden. They're called Sweet William. Is that kind of what they're called? Gillyflowers, I think they're also called. To me, they smell like cloves. That's what I've always thought carnations and Sweet William smell like, but. And that's it. So that was the, I think the spring one. So now, I don't know if folks have seen this one yet or not. This was, I, I don't think I've seen a, a flip through of this one. Um, so it's same general series. And again, something to do with winter. So let's, I'm gonna turn it sideways just so I can, see if I can open this up. It does take some finger strength to kind of get in there. And it does, I mean, I know it does a little bit of damage on the spine, but it certainly makes life easier for things to, to lie flat. So again, we've got the, the thumbnails of the images here. It doesn't look very wintry to me, but she does have a sweater on. Could be coming up to, and then again, if I translated all this, I would know, wouldn't I? Donuts with little bears wearing aprons. Um, I should know what those flowers are. I mean, they kind of look like lilies. Are they lilies? I think they're lilies. Green. Some bunnies. More bunnies. Little girl's cute. I don't know if this is a stuffed dog. There's like bits of floof. Now, I did once upon a time have two great Pyrenees dogs. I miss those dogs. And I'll tell you, <laughs> there were certain times a year where this, this, there'd be white floof everywhere. And it wasn't because the stuffing was coming out of the dogs. Um, they blow coat. So their undercoat comes out. So, I mean, maybe that's what's going on here. Or maybe it's a stuffed dog and, and some, some stuffing came out. I don't know. It's a Christmas cactus, isn't it? I think it is. She's got her mittens on there. Well, there's the same dog, so I guess it's not stuffed. Looks very protective. And I tell you, the Great Pyrenees I had, yeah, that's that was their job, and they did it without anyone teaching them how. If any, yeah, the cats and the horses that I had. And the little kids that came to visit, they would just protect. Those look like holly leaves, but then I don't know what the flowers are. Interesting. Those look like some sort of like a water. No. Mm, I should know what that plant is too, but I can't think. lighthouse there and we've got a fire and they are they are roasting marshmallows the marshmallows are tiny rainbows can you see that you can see that Ooh. I don't know how you'd get rainbow marshmallows I've never seen them but maybe you can it looks like she has like I don't it almost looks like a yam that she's cut in half maybe they roasted a yam and this bunny has some hot chocolate. The rainbow marshmallows, that's cute. I don't know. Yeah. Campfire. 
And we've got a little bit of snow. Those look like wolves, but they seem to be her friend. Well, she coach because she's Red Riding Hood. I get it. But they seem friendly, so it's all good. Bits of snow on the rocks. That's the cover image. Yeah. Mice have bags of snowflakes. Actually, they all have bags of snowflakes. Could be snowflake decorations, I suppose. I don't know what that flower is. Does it look like an orchid of some kind? Could be. Grinding coffee. Making some pour over coffee. Nice. A little cafe, maybe. Christmas, all the traditional sort of Christmas symbols there. We've got the tree and the poinsettia, candy canes, Santa, reindeer outside. And there's more Christmas, gingerbread men wrapping presents. Gingerbread man. They all have tiny eyebrows. I just noticed that. I've never put eyebrows on my gingerbread people. I might have to next time. Some tea and cake. Some scones there too. Those are definitely orchids. I would think of some kind. Making snow angels. Snow bear making snow angel. Penguins. The background is pretty there, isn't it? I haven't really been looking that closely at the backgrounds, but they're very nice. I don't know if the snowman is melting or if just bits of him are coming off because he's going so fast because it's happening. Hmm. Careful, snowman. That would be fun to try and reproduce, wouldn't it? All the the blossoms are they're like they're glowing like they're little lanterns, and then you've got glowing lanterns here too with the little mice. many things that I would like to try. So little time during the school year. <laughs> right now I'm coming up on, well, getting closer to um, the end of the course and final exams and final, final reports. And so I, I'm not going to have a lot of coloring time. I'm trying to get a little bit done in April. I don't know about May. And then hopefully June, June will be better. I think these are ermine. Because in winter here, the ermine will turn white and then they have a little black end to their tail. That's very colorful. Sorry if the book's not staying straight. Kinds of flowers. I mean, I mean, it could just be that these are just, I don't recognize that kind of tree or that kind of flower. It could just be fantastical, just something. I feel like I should recognize those, but I don't. They don't look like, I mean, I guess they could be cherry blossoms. But they do, mm, I think they're something else, aren't they? I could be wrong. A little skating scene. Those look like cherry blossoms. And that's, I don't know, like a little bridge down below maybe? I'm not sure. It's very 
sweet. And a guitar. Waiting for the bus. Some giant daffodils. Or narcissi. I never know the difference between the two. And that's it. So, yeah, these were the five books. Uh, and then this one. And the April book. So those were the five books that I got from Aladdin. Um, now to compare, this was, and I, it's not fair. I probably shouldn't compare, but, um, so this was, yeah, it's about a hundred dollars Canadian with delivery. And I got these two books, Korean books from Etsy and I think with delivery, these were close to, I would say probably 80 or $90. Now, yeah, I shouldn't compare. It's, it's small businesses and it's small sellers, right? Um, so you know what, since we're already coming up to an hour and I don't know, you guys seem to like the chattiness, why don't we flip these two Korean books too? So these are not from Aladdin, but still lovely books. Um, this is like Momo the bear, <laughs> I think was, was kind of the translation. Let's do this one first. And the style, the art style on here was what really sort of drew me because, and it, it's sort of has that little, um, banner, I guess is what you call it. The law of Korean books have the art style is very, very sketchy in, in sort of, I don't know. That's, that's what it strikes me as like, I don't know if you can see that on the cover. Oh, there's a glare. Sorry. Can you see on the bear how even the outlines look like it was drawn almost very lightly with a, an actual pencil? Do you know what I mean? That was kind of, yeah. What, what, and the Fox and it's just very sketchy. So we've got title page here and I can try and it, like I say I'll, down below I'll put links to um, Shelly's videos on how to order from Aladdin it's entirely possible you can get this book and the other one um, that I got from Etsy from Aladdin as well I, I didn't look because I had already had these on order um, but I can certainly try and put links to, to everything if you like this has thumbnails of all of the artwork this in here and that's got some information here and then yeah so can you see what I mean by the very the very sketchy nature of the the line work I just really liked it I thought it was something different and then it's almost like sometimes the when the coloring in was done on the artwork here it's almost like that, and there's probably a name for this style, and forgive me, I, I don't know what it is, but it's like sometimes the color goes slightly over the line work, sometimes it doesn't fill it up all the way. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, if you can see on that flower right there, the very top, there's like a little white bit where it didn't quite get colored in, and then some of the other places, it went a little bit over the line work. I'm sure there's a name for it. It's just a sketchy almost, and then it looks like it was watercolor right? Um, I don't know. It's got the, the very nice Korean paper, but it's not like super thick. So I don't know. I don't know how, how this would handle like a water medium. I don't think you could put a lot of water on it, but I could be wrong. They're very simple images. You could certainly put your own background in, but I mean, the original artwork didn't have, didn't have a background. So we've got some foxes. Lily of the Valley. Bear and a bunny. Bear is his fish. The bunny has his carrots. Their little overalls. Very cute. Just some bears. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> looks like gathering up. This looks like acorns here. And he's got some little friends there in his overalls. He's got like a little stuffed teddy in his back pocket there. Gathering up some fruits. Not sure. 
number of different cats. I just thought it was something very different. I hadn't really seen... Maybe it's not. I'm certainly not. That's adorably sad eyes and whatever this is. Um, just a different kind of style. And I, I liked it. Bear with his cat. Reading the cup of tea. Fox with the little cat wearing a little shawl but very simple right now this square and then like the spotlight effect that's not here you'd have to sort of do that yourself but this one's a little more detailed looks like different bonsai trees Hats. Some pretty, looks like spring kind of blossoms and branches there. It's a fairly typical cat. <laughs> Maybe it says, have a beautiful and shiny life. So maybe a wedding? Like they're, they're wishing the, the couple, I don't really know. Everybody's wearing little flower kind of garlands in their hair. There's a toucan. And a hedgehog. Ah! Hedgehogs are adorable. And we do not have them here. Some goats. So, I mean, this a little bit more going on than those first images in the book. Again, a very impressionistic kind of sketchy style, right? I mean, these are... I would say these are tulips. I mean, some of them are literally just ovals, but you know, it still to me says tulip. That one's more detailed. It's like a bear and maybe his yard, backyard, because we've got some grass and things here. And then I have an old, old ladder, wooden ladder that came with the house. It just was in a outbuilding. And, I mean, it's rickety. There's no way I would stand on it. But it's lovely for a planter. I do this all the time. I put little planters on the steps. Nap in his hammock after a hard day's work in the garden. Oh, I don't really know what's going on here. There's fish in the sky. That's a hollyhock. Clematis, no, um, Morning Glory. And then they're painting, and then there's an octopus. The cat looks very terrified. I don't really know what's going on there, but it's very cute. There's a penguin. Penguin with a little garden hat and a snail. Some very pretty flowers. Geranium, sunflowers. I don't know if this is underwater. Could be. That's underwater. I mean, polar bears can be underwater. I don't know if they should stay underwater. Some foxes, maybe? Very little shading, right? There's there's not, you know, in order to make things look three-dimensional, I mean, there's there's really not a lot of shading there. There's a little bit. Um, it's more just very watercolory and sketchy. I just really, really like the... I don't know, I like the style. It just says mushroom. Looks like he's selling a mushroom. It's like a little price tag on it. A little shopping bag. And he's got a mushroom hat. There's all kinds of mushrooms. Those look like fern fronds. Blackberries. A 
it's very cute. It's like on a cake stand, but it's like a little, little, I don't know. Looks like it's surrounded by water, but it's like a little island. It's his little house. He's got little pathways coming up there. That's fall, right? The bears are going in, settling in for winter. Hmm. I love that. I love it. Just the starkness of it. And I mean, I guess it's kind of the sky that I was trying to do all the time, right? With my, my snowflake mandalas and my wintertime sky. But, and then you've got these blue shadows, right? Cause that's what you get in the winter. You get these blue shadows on the snow with just, I love, I love that. Hmm. Yeah. Another wintertime scene feeding the swans, little foxes. That bit of sky in the background, you see that there? It's like purple and yellow and pink. It's a purple sky up there. Little Christmas scene. I'm assuming it looks pretty Christmassy to me. Little wreath there. It's a snow mouse toys and gifts. A cat, the cat tree, cat condo. That's a lot of cats. A little Siamese. That looks like a pile of puppies. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's a cat. This says happy birthday, so it's a little party scene with the, looks like the Siamese kittens. I think Siamese kittens could get into a lot of trouble. Oh, there's one peeking right there. Bear is baking, baking cookies, maybe putting little edible flowers on the cupcakes and cookies. I've done that. Afternoon tea time, it says. The bear with his little sweater and his shirt. That's very pretty. For those of you that like indoor plants. I think that's the cover image, isn't it? That's a lot of different flowers to color. So yeah, I mean, compare the, the level of detail there with, you know, those are the first images. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of variety, I think, in this book for just different you know, people wanting to color different kinds of images and things. A lot of detail there. Apple harvest. Orchestra, they're little tuxedos. Cute. So this is 36, so there are 36 images. So yeah, I will try and link this below. Like I say, there's something Momo the bear, something along that line. And then I got this one. Now this, I've seen something similar where it's something about colored pencil coloring, but this one specifically said watercolor. And you'll notice in comparison to, well, here's the, the Momo the Bear book, right? This one is almost square, I would say. Kind of a Joanna Basford size book. The watercolor book is a tiny, tiny bit wider, but quite a bit shorter. Can you see that? And so I was curious to see if this had watercolor paper in it. And I think it does. And it's seasonal, so it has um, some information here at the front of the book. And I'm assuming it's talking about, you know, sort of mixing colors and what have you. And then it's got some techniques probably it talks about, you know, how to do a brick wall, how to do um, sort of grasses and, and foliage maybe, foliage on the trees. 
how to do a wow how to do a sky like that I really do need to translate these because I think this could be some really useful information here just doing different kinds of you know watercolor backgrounds and then it starts with spring so all of this paper at the beginning is just just traditional you know paper um, and then there's an image but then starting right here like that's thick watercolor paper and it's got watercolor paper texture like I think this is actually watercolor paper the texture is not printed on it's it's there quite a few of them not all are um I want to say I mean I guess technically this way is landscape right this way so it's portrait so quite a few of them are portrait um so this way and you can see in terms of detail that's in I'm going to turn it back this way because it'll just be easier to see sorry it's harder to sort of visualize the image but um all of this background sky here none of that is drawn in right so that's that's kind of up to you to put all that in um you know there's a general sort of sketch in of, of the picture but you know there's some some reflections in the glass there that's not in there's some shadowing underneath you know that's not so I, I think it does require you to to maybe think a little bit more if you wanted to you know copy exactly but these are all just spring images and I mean here what if I just sort of do it like that <laughs> sorry because I am gonna have to turn back the other way I have looked through these two so that looks like blossoms probably cherry blossoms some of them are very urban right so then you've got the the telephone lines there I mean that's that's neat too you don't often see that don't know what kind of blossoms those would be but I mean how how gorgeous sorry I keep turning it how gorgeous is that picture you've got the chair and the wall there and then down here you can copy it or do something else cherry blossoms on the stairs sorry I guess it's probably I mean I don't have to show you the the actual artwork down there or the line work I should say um, maybe more interested in seeing the, the actual artwork and then just knowing you can you can copy so it looks like quite a few of them are this kind of portrait um, way there's more cherry blossoms so we're still in spring here there's cherry blossoms there that looks like forsythia maybe blossoms yellow like that like a gate a seaside scene another urban kind of scene urban scene there again not you know I mean there's a not necessarily a lot of coloring books I find well maybe just the ones I buy I don't know they're very pastoral right they're very um it's almost like the the modern world doesn't exist you don't often see telephone lines and power lines in a lot of the coloring books that we get and it's interesting I find to to see it and that was again one of the reasons why I thought I'd give this one a try and I wanted to see if it was actual watercolor paper and it is so there's one that's landscape there's a little dotted line on each of these um, pictures that you can paint or color but it's not perforated like you could just cut it out another one And again it's just sort of left this wall open so you know for you to do your own your own kind of concrete or stone wall there it's 
some more blossoms. We're still in spring here. Just some foliage. Again, you've got the power lines going through. I just think that's so neat. And now we're in summer. Just some practice doing a watercolor kind of sky there. And then you've got reflections in the window down here. Now, it's interesting. Let me go down here. This has almost been cut off. So actually the window that you see there, there's very little of it down here. So the, I didn't notice that on any others, but maybe, maybe that was there. Oh, sorry. Beautiful tree. It's almost like a like a pedestrian underpass maybe so urban I mean some of them are, are you know I haven't seen any though that look rural you know like farm rural there's a bus there's another urban one another urban one kind of an apartment building a bridge over a, a river. Almost kind of stormy skies. Again, down here, none of that storminess is drawn in. So it gives you the opportunity to really practice, you know, doing some of that. And I mean, because this is watercolor paper, I would, if it were me, I would put probably probably something like this this is just uh it's one of those cheap flexible plastic cutting boards you can buy them in like packs of 10 from amazon i would put something like this underneath right um if i was doing watercolor not necessarily because i think it would soak all the way through to the next page down but you do want to protect right because if you're going right to the edge you could tape it off that might be a better because I mean these are you know kind of framed up so so you wouldn't have to go right to the edge but just so that it wouldn't go over the edge and then onto the to the image underneath there's kind of a street scene there's a, a very neat shadow and actually that is drawn in sorry right there so it gives you a little bit of help there So there's rural. I mean, you've still got the power lines, but I mean, that certainly looks like a garden to me. And I mean, that's even got, you know, rails like a, you would have at the edge of a highway and some stairs coming down. So interesting. <laughs> that's pretty rural. <laughs> you've got almost looks like a homemade kind of tractor thing going there, doesn't it? Mm, I love it. pretty gate in the wall sort of kind of a rusty tin roof in the background there gas station I don't think I've ever had a gas station in a coloring book that I've had before that's neat now we're into autumn so it looks like the beginning of each season, most of them are this way, and then there's a few at the end of the season that are the other way. So far, anyway. So kind of a balcony with mountains. Gain that sky would be... That would be great to try and reproduce, wouldn't it? Dry grasses. That's so pretty. I just love autumn color palettes. There's something about the sky in the autumn. Just that blue color against, well... I mean, we get colored leaves here, 
Uh, it's just something. Something about the color of the blue sky. Maybe it's the same color the other times of the year, but maybe it's to do with the, the colors of the leaves. Doorway. It's like a bus stop. The great big fall tree. Sky there looks almost a um, little bit of a turquoise color. And shadows for the tree underneath. You know, I think working in this book and trying to reproduce these pictures would probably give me a lot of help in terms of understanding those types of things in other coloring books, right? Apartments. This looks like a bridge over kind of a shell where looks like there's some reeds and things down there. Cracked concrete or brick wall there. Again with the the aerial. I mean that's I just find that fascinating. Another gate. Wall. Hopefully you can't hear my tummy. It's growling. That's pretty. That that's more. I don't know. Almost looks more rural to me. Sorry, I haven't been showing you the, the images underneath. If if anyone would like a a better flip through of this book where I can, you know, you know, go back and forth and back and forth, I can certainly do that. Um, I just thought I'd give you a sort of a first glance at this. So I mean there's and you can see a lot of this is is sketched in. Um, now there's variations in color in the leaves here that is sort of not. Um, I think that would be yeah. Some good practice in learning how to, how to draw those things in. Look at that sky. And it's not, right? You need to do that yourself. Huh. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, look at that. There's rural. Looks like grain of some kind, maybe. Or it could just be grasses. And then winter. I think it's, for each of the seasons here, it's had like four little sort of, it's the same painting, sort of beginning, you know, middle stages and then end. I think that's neat. Go back to this way. Game, just beautiful skies there. Oh, I love the starkness of that. Look at that. Mm, there's that image we saw. Sort of four stages of completion there. So it's pots of plants and trees in the winter. This looks like indoors looking out. Kind of mid-century modern. Is that what that style is called? Furniture there. That looks that looks farmyardish to me. Well, the tree looks like it's growing through the middle of that building. <laughs> that that's pretty rough looking up here. And then we've got the old farm truck there. I like that. Snow falling. I think that's similar to a gate we've seen earlier. Another very snowy picture. Winter skies fascinate me. This could be maybe end of winter. Not sure. No snow on the ground. Bare tree though. Over this way. Those look like traffic lights. <laughs> Again, just, you know, and often, and, and looks like tire tracks in the snow there. Mountains. It's maybe late winter, early spring. Oh, look at that sky.
Beautiful. Beautiful. And that is it. And it just ends. So yeah, I mean, that's, it's a thick book and that's actual watercolor paper that's in there. Um, sorry, I haven't given you, so I can give you the ISBN there. See it? I'm gonna look it up. I can also try and give you a link to this on, if I can't find it on Aladdin, I'll link it uh, where I purchased it on Etsy. Uh, there's the ISBN for the Momo the Bear book. I think that's what it was. Whoops, sorry. And in case you need the ISBN for the April book, but I, th I think most people are... There it is there. Um, this is the ISBN for the Nostalgia Brook, the Green Ivy. Oops, sorry. This is the soft cover one that's got the thinner paper. So this is the one that I just purchased from uh, Aladdin. But, I mean, if you want, I can also give you... Uh, they did have both of these on Aladdin. So this is... the same ISBN? No, it's different. So it's a different, slightly different ISBN for the hardcover book. I'm going to try and find that one. And then I can give you the ISBNs for these ones. So this is the sort of spring one. Okay, go there. Hopefully it's focusing and you can see that. If not, let me know in the comments and I can type them in. And then there's this one, which I think was like fall. <laughs> it doesn't look fallish to me. Yeah, I think it's fall. Oh, right, because it had the adorable Halloween picture in it. That's right. So there's the ISBN for that one. And then lastly, the winter one, the little mice. There's the ISBN for that one. So that turned into a very long video, didn't it? But we got to look at some super cute Korean coloring books. Now is that one? Yeah, I think they are all Korean. Unless, is this Japanese? Forgive me. But somebody said, what did they say? This one might be Japanese because they said to tell the difference between Korean and Japanese writing, the Korean writing tends to have a lot of circles in it, and Japanese does not. So this one might actually be Japanese. Forgive me. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that. Maybe the nostalgia one. No, that looks... Mm. Forgive me. Forgive me. I should know that, but I don't. Uh, but yeah, so it's a long, chatty video, but you got to look at some uh, some beautiful books with me. Again, I will link everything down below that I can. I will link to those videos that Shelly put out on how to order from Aladdin. Super fast, cheap, and the books are, are in pristine, perfect condition. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is enjoying their coloring. If you like what you're seeing, consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, um, hitting the notification bell, leaving me a comment, letting a friend know that you found a video or a channel that you like and they might like it too. Until next time, folks, take care. Bye-bye.